Sid in the morning. A new show, Mischief and More. 77 WABC and the WABC radio app. We will get back, of course, to the uh, big story in the city today. Andrew Cuomo signed a bill last night that allows illegal immigrants, will allow illegal immigrants to get their driver's licenses. You you can't make it up. And we'll get to that valedictorian speech, too, out in San Diego. That's very, very entertaining stuff. But uh, this is the uh, time of the week we put aside because you guys love them. Not as much as we love them, but you guys do love them. His podcast, One Tough Podcast on the OG Network, is doing better than any podcast on that network. And he's a wonderful friend and great guest of the Bernie and Sid Show. It's Bo time, Bo Deedle. On a Tuesday morning, good morning, Bo. Good morning. At least we had a nice day yesterday. We got the game out. We played at Liberty Park. You know, this uh, t- a Tunnel to Towers a family there that lost their son, the fireman, that time. And they have the fundraising for that, the sure. Tunnels to Towers. So I was a guest of Rudy Giuliani yesterday. We played at Liberty State Park. Let me tell you something. Rudy, you played golf, you're talking about golf. Yeah, yeah, Rudy and that family, what they do is they didn't just stop with the firemen and the cops. Now they build homes for amputee soldiers and veterans. Great charity, uh, the Silla Foundation there, and I, I recommend it highly to everybody. Uh, it was it was very moving what they did for what they do for families. Oh, getting in these homes would have to be. Uh, uh, Modernized where these amputees can use the, uh, you know, facilities and yep. all that. It, it was a great day. Raised a lot of money and really, really happy. That's cool. You're Michael a good, Strahan, good, good friend of the ball man. Is that right? What you hear is what he really is. He's one of the classiest guys in the world, nicest guys in the world. It's true what you see. There's no fugazi going on. And uh, listen to me, I almost crashed my car into a pole driving in before. Please don't tell me about Kelly Ripper having sex with Mario Lanza or whatever her husband's name. Marcus Please. Reynolds? I, yeah. I, I don't really don't want to hear it. <laughs> who, would, who would spread that rumor? Somebody else? No, she did. No, yeah. she actually said well, let me her kid caught her something. having sex. Why don't you just keep your mouth shut? I'm not interested in that crap, all right? <laughs> Dummy Excuse up me. to you, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Mrs. Right. Mr. and Mrs. Wonderful, enough. Oh, was it was it missionary position or was it doggy style? Who cares? Well, Who you know, cares? You bring up the fact that Michael Strahan is a big bow friend. And you're, you're, you're crapping on Kelly Ripper here. Nobody disliked Kelly Ripper more than Michael Strahan. 92 hated her. Well, he was, he was too much class for her. Yeah. You know, and I mean, she, she wanted to be the little Gestapo there running around <laughs> in charge, in charge of everything. And you want to know something? He was the best thing they had on that show. Not only that, he, she uh, dumped Regis Philbin, who brought her into yeah. prominence well, after Kathy it, Lee. It, it's very obvious. Loyalty is not in her vocabulary because, uh, Regis was a friend, is, is a friend of mine. And and Michael Strahan is one of the classiest dudes. It only brought class to that show. And uh, I guess uh, she'll last about another 15 minutes. She's got minutes. Ryan Seacrest now. Who cares? Yeah. Hey, let's get to the biggest story of the day here, Bo. It is, in fact, that Governor Andrew Cuomo signs a bill late last night. And that eventually, sooner than later, illegal immigrants will be able to get their driver's licenses. Now, we know, of course, all this is about, all this is about is getting votes. Because these people, because they're getting the licenses, will eventually be allowed to vote. And they will all vote Democrat. That's what Cuomo can about that's why he did this what do you think about it well now you're going to have an, uh, a license with a person's picture what is the credibility of the information that they're giving who they are you think anything from guatemala honduras or any other these all, all, all uh, over the place all over the place syria the bangladesh they to, the congo yeah you name well, it. what what is the credibility of what they're telling you you're going to get a piece of paper that's going to have a, a, a watusi stamp on it that is from the em- embassy of watusi wherever the hell it is and the next thing is you're going to get a license with a picture on it, and that's the identification they're going to be showing. I call. I look. You want to play this game, Mr. Governor? I know you a long time. I know your father, Mario. I love Mario very much. Great man. And I'm going to tell you, so I, I like I like Andrew Cuomo too, and I like Chris. It's a nice family, nice Italian family, but he's going a little bit overboard. Here's what I got to say: If you want to give driver's license out. Then you know what you do with that? You fingerprint them. You use biometrics there to identify that person. So this way, if they're involved with a criminal enterprise or a criminality, we can identify them. So you want to know? You want a light driver's license? El fingerprinto, you know, so we at least can identify him because right now you're going to be given driver's license out there. 
Well, you know, one aspect of it, I like it because they're going to be forced to get insurance because half the illegals are driving around with no with cardboard license plates on the back of their car. They ain't got insurance. At least we'll be able to to, to uh, find them. In reality, <laughs> they have to learn how to drive. Yeah, but if if but, they use if they use it, and I I speak out to the governor, you want to play this game? Well, let's identify them. You, let's have biometrics. I like fingerprinting. You have the, now the electronic fingerprints. You can set it up in the motor vehicles. Come on, baby, you want to you well, want your they, license? But they claim uh, this lady that he went to last night. He said he was ready to veto this. She and Letitia James, the attorney general, yeah. claim they've already got the software set up to do exactly what you want. They can, in fact, find out exactly what's going on out there. Well, they're not going to find out from where they have come what they did. They could be a mass murder. They could be a terrorist. We're not going to be able to. They don't have a file. Uh, this is a terrorist from Syria. Right, it right. doesn't say that. Right. But with all that said, if we're, if this is going to be forced down our throat, we have to. it has to come with the other side. Look, I'm against it. I'm totally against it. But if I have to swallow it, let's swallow it and make it palatable where we can identify these people. This way, if they get stopped and they get locked up, we know who that person is. So of they're wrecking. So they could have killed 14 people over there in Bangladesh. Now they're here. So now their criminal record starts with the first time they get arrested here. And we have an identity with a license, with fingerprints. So in reality, we're bringing them out of the woodwork, which is a good thing. And with that comes the L L Taxo. You want a license? Then you pay your damn taxes too, like I do. Right. Okay. But you want to go? You want to go work? You pay your taxes. So it could be a good thing. Hey, uh, uh, excuse me, all you liberals, this is Big Brother now, baby. We're going to know where all you little Julios are hiding. But it's also a magnet for people to come from all over the world. It says, yeah. listen, you come here, you're going to be legitimized. That's it. And, it. and it screws the people who are waiting online, doing it the well, right way. we're talking about, we're not talking about giving them rights but, to vote. All right, We're listen, talking but, about license, but where I'm, as a former law enforcement guy in security, I like to know who's here, and this now all of a sudden helps Understood. us know who's here. Yeah, but Listen. it starts with the license. The the, the progression is going to well, be we know, license to vote. So well, we've got to deal with each issue as it comes right. about. Yeah. In our Constitution, it says to vote, you suppose you got to change our Constitution, which means you've got to change the law. I don't know how, how fast that's going to happen. So, well, speaking of Andrew and yeah. law enforcement, of course, Andrew, never forget, he was the guy who came up with vote for Cuomo, not the homo back when his daddy was running against yeah. Koch for mayor. He was that guy. He also paroled a cop killer, pardoned him so he can vote, and now his, his parole board, his hand-picked parole board, has decided yeah. to parole a guy up in Pearl, who was, uh, committed a murder and a rape in Pearl River with his buddies. Yes, yes. And this guy's going to get out in July. Oh, 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 look at How about the guy that, my uh, favorite uh, son? The guy that killed 10 people, the Palm Sunday Mexico. Eight of them children under 12 shot in the head. He's out now. I think he's probably uh, running for borough president of the Bronx. <laughs> My point is, where are we going to stop it? All these cop killers. Well, where do we stop it? Excuse me, with all respect, you know what? You can't let animals out of jail. And that's the well, way that's I your feel boy about Andrew. It. Well, you know, I know some Andrew. I, 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 I got a, you know a little bit. He's upset me a little bit with that, especially with these cop killers. Because in reality, there was always that sacred thing: you kill a cop, you're going bye bye. You're never going to come out. Every one of these cop killers are coming out of jail, also. So it's just the two guys that raped the nun in the convent in '81 yeah. that mm -hmm. Tommy Collar and I locked up. Those guys been out a long time. I think one's the mayor of Baltimore. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's like a, the only thing: reprise, man. Reprise. Reprise. And now uh, we, what they could do is run for city council. They'll fit right in there. Convicted felons or murderers could be a congressperson or maybe you can mm. be the governor. Why not? Maybe the next Why governor not? of New York will be a convicted yeah. murderer. Why not? Be, uh, I mean, Kelly uh, kumbaya, kumbaya. Right. Why not? It's the reality is we're going in the wrong, wrong direction. I don't know if we're going to pull it out. I think it's going to get serious. I'm starting to think about going into uh, Texas. I'm starting to think about yeah. going yeah. to be, get a ranch next to I'm the I'm Texas. I'm with yeah. you. I'm with yeah. you. Some nice and quiet down there and... You know, load up with a bunch of guns and some trucks and rodeo. You're good to go. No you know, income I've, tax. I've been, right. call, I've been calling out on your show. I don't understand one thing. Eight hundred million bucks. Now, Shirley if, McCray, you're talking yeah, about. yeah. I just, Debazio's I don't get it. It's, nobody talks about it. This is eight hundred million dollars that could help our homeless situation because the homeless situation isn't bums out there. Oh. Majority of them are elite, uh, are mentally 
are troubled and they need mental health help. Yep. And in reality, that was where that money should have went. Should have went into our classrooms with this guy from Mexico. This uh, this Carranza. Carranza. He's got to go. What he's got to do is understand. You got classrooms. You can't remove children who are mentally ill, disrupting the other 30 kids, that is wrong. And then these poor school teachers now are being slapped around because you're white, and now you got to promote someone who's brown well, or black well, over he, white. He, he's, in it's, big, it's ridiculous. he's in big trouble for that. I mean, well, there's a chance he could get fired because he has, in well, fact, played well, to that crowd. Well, we know one thing. Big Bird de Blasi has balls like BB <laughs> because if he had any <laughs> balls yeah. on him, yeah. he would call them in and say, you know what, go back, uh, dun, 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 back to Mexico. <laughs> No, no, listen, you want to know he, something? He came from he, Texas, where so you want to go. He agrees <laughs> well, we, with, we, with we the guy. Guns in Texas. Right. Yeah, he, uh, he agrees, agrees with the guy. <laughs> that's that's the reason why he's not yeah. going to get rid of him. He's got no balls. He's got no integrity. Well, but uh, he, he may not have balls, and he may not have integrity. But with sixty seconds to go, boy, you know what he does have? What? He's got a spot in the Democratic debate coming up next week. Yeah, but we... Isn't that we, unbelievable? Uh, we, we, I remember you kicked his ass at the Symphony Theater on the Upper West oh, Side at 96 and Broadway. And then Channel 2 when I called yeah. him a thief. Yeah. But the thing is that it, we, we really all have to think about one thing. We have to think about... that's. Eight hundred million dollars. How many people could we help? And when she's asked about it, she goes, "I don't want to talk about it." These are different <laughs> levels. And meanwhile, the Attorney General Letitia James is going after the president and going after all yeah, kinds of stupid. It, what is, why is and, it Letitia James? And Cyrus Vance is going after Paul Manafort, trying to put him in Rikers. And meanwhile, what? we have almost a billion dollars that the mayor's why wife squandered. Still, Letitia, I like Letitia. I know her. And Letitia, when I ran for mayor, she was very nice to me all the time. Letitia, you are the Attorney General. This. We need your help. You got to go and ask questions. P- open up that grand jury in the attorney general's office and bring her in. Say, uh, excuse me, Mrs. Uh, Mayor, what did you do with eight hundred million dollars? <laughs> She'll go like this. Well, we do have different platforms and we have different uh, arenas, and we're still investigating what we did with that eight hundred yeah. million. You want to know something? That's bull crap. Eight hundred million is a lot of potatoes, sure enough. and we got to investigate the criminals. Damn right, Bo. Bo Thank you. As always, Bo Dito, excellent job. Again, check out the podcast every week. One Tough Podcast, number one on the OG Network. And, of course, Bo does an amazing job here each and every Tuesday. We love you, Bo Deedle. Terrific job. We get back. Another win for the Yankees. Another loss for the Mets. And the Rangers pick up one of the best defensemen in the National Hockey League. The Shrewsbury Bike Blitz is coming up next. You know I like to keep my cheeks dry. and Sid in the morning. Talk radio. 77 WABC.